Good morning. It is a Tuesday. It's a beautiful day, which is awesome in a way, but not awesome in another way because it really shouldn't be so beautiful because it's January coming into February. Uh, these are pictures from North Star. Got a lot of weather to talk about today. We got the polar vortex, which is occurring in the central part of the country. We'll look at that. The red flag warnings are going to get dropped for Southern California later on, and there'll be there'll be um, fire weather watches in effect there. The wind's not as horrible as anticipated, so that's some good news. Where is the rain? Where is the snow? Well, there is a little bit out there. We'll take a look at that as well. And again, thanks for subscribing and liking. Um, I got to 2,000 uh, followers, so I'm super stoked. For like the first year I did this I had like 20 of you so I know who you guys are I know which 20 are were the first 20 so thank you um, but it's just fun and this is what I do anyway I got my coffee um, it's kind of this is exactly what I do every morning and it's it's been a good life being a meteorologist on TV 30 I've been the chief meteorologist at channel 2 for 33 years which is longer than Pete Giddings which is crazy I know because Pete was Pete was probably still is the dude I haven't I don't know where he is now I just North Star. It's interesting about skiing. I used to go, I used to grew up in paradise. We used to go up to Tahoe. My dad was a veterinarian. On Wednesdays, we'd go skiing. It's just, it was back in the 60s and 70s. It was some, I, maybe it's still this way, but I think it's not. Back in the 60s and 70s, Wednesday was when doctors, lawyers, you know, veterinarians, dentists, every, every, professional people would go skiing. And so you'd go up on the lift and you'd get on a chairlift and you would talk to some old guy. He'd be by himself and he's pretty, you know, kind of James Bondy looking dude. And what do you do? I'm a, I'm a, a neurosurgeon in um, Millbrae. And be, almost every time, if you're, you got to be old to remember this, but now you get on the chair, nobody talks, right? I don't know what that's about. Everybody's plugged into their phones. It, like the sound of the mountains isn't awesome enough. Um, it's a very different experience. But today's Tuesday. I know it's not Wednesday. This is North Star. And by the way, last thing I'm going to say about North Star. Yeah, it is the last thing I'm going to say about North Star. When they first opened, they their shtick was, it was kind of like a country club. It was like, you, oh, they would only take the first, I want to say, 3,000 skiers. And after that, they wouldn't let anybody else in because crowds were becoming a thing. This was in the early mid-70s. Ooh, that moves fast early mid 70s and so and maybe it was 5,000 but they would cut it off and you no more people could ski and they would make it was sort of like oh this is sick so you'd get up there early you would get on the hill there'd never be lines probably not an awesome business model but uh anyway so folks skiing look like they're working on a half pipe there okay let's get to some weather thanks for enduring that this is the national map national weather service map i like this because you look at it and you go, okay, let's go to Southern California. There's the wind advisories and the fire weather watch, which is better than a fire weather warning. Uh, you got frost advisories and freeze warnings in the Central Valley. You got some wind stuff and some fog stuff up in the Oregon area. This is the story right now. Let me plug this in, this whole area here. I mean, first of all, when you look at this, that, that blue, that's freeze warnings and freeze concerns, right? So that you got all these people well below average, like like minus one, minus five kind of stuff. Then you've got these very cold, colder than average temperatures, those blues, that's an alert. Then you get down here into the Gulf states. That's a blizzard warning. I believe those are blizzard warnings. Yeah, winter storm warnings, pardon me, not blizzard warnings. Winter storm warnings all the way into the, the Carolinas. Are you kidding me? That doesn't happen every day. So you got this extreme amount of cold air, and then you've got some moisture. The, the cold air is dry. That's why you don't have the, 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 the storm warnings here. But down here, when you can access that Gulf moisture, holy smokes, right? All the way down to Florida, Georgia. All the way down there. So that story hangs on for a while. We can take a look. This is the um, GFS. This is just temperature. But I wanted to show you. You can see, okay, here's... Here's the area we've been we're watching. Watch it continue to pulse down. So now we're into Wednesday. It starts to modify the cold air. That, that's night and day. These are night and day bumps. It gets a little warmer during the day. And then you see right around here, somewhere around Friday, when our weather starts to change, 
their weather starts to, to warm up a little bit, okay? So everything's connected. Everything's connected. We talked about Southern California. There is the uh, high wind warning, which let's see when that gets dropped. I think that gets dropped really soon here. Let's see. Uh, high wind warning until 2 o'clock today. So a lot of these warnings and stuff are getting dropped in Southern California. The winds verifying at times, but right now these are the current wind speeds. Fullerton is blowing about 14 miles an hour, 12 miles an hour at Long Beach. So you, you remember these are arrows. The ball is the, the point of the arrow and the wind direction actually isn't that strong offshore. So it, it's, it's, good. it's a break for my friends. Oxnard's got a little bit of wind up here further north about 20 knots, something like that. So the winds are not um, as aggressive as, as, as certainly as what we experienced before. So what did we talk about? We talked about how super cold it is in the middle of the country, and it's going to stay that way till Friday. Our weather switches on Friday. Southern California getting a bit of a break now. And you're going to see this opportunity for maybe a few sprinkles down there. So first thing we're going to do is do some pictures. One of my favorite places in the world the um, Sierra, Southern Sierra Nevada, you're looking out towards Bishop is up in here, up in this area, if you can see that. And there's the, the valley, the Owens Valley. Isn't it beautiful? Stunning. And you can see, you know, right, you're looking towards the, kind of towards the south and the west, I suspect. So just one part of the state. Here's the other part of the state that is stunning, is Mount, Sha or Mount Shasta. This was the sun coming up this morning. You look at to see the stars go by, a few jet planes as well. And you wake up to that in the morning. You must feel, I mean, if I, I was looking at some pictures of somebody's ranch up there the other day. And I'm like, if I woke up and saw that every day, I would think I had pretty much died and, and won the lottery or won the lottery and died, something like that. But isn't that just beautiful? So it's cold, definitely. The temperatures, and they're gonna, they're gonna cool off a bit for us. So here's the GFS. 500 millibars, so halfway up through the atmosphere. And then the, the colors, the dark reds and yellows represent instability or energy or spin, if you will, or vorticity, which is what it does represent. And if it's spinning clockwise, the vorticity is negative. If it's spinning counterclockwise, right? Yeah, the, the vorticity is positive. And positive vorticity means usually the air is rising and, and spreading out. And so in this case, Positive vorticity here, positive vorticity here. This is where the this is where the inclement areas are. So that's a lot more than you need to know. We'll push through here. Here we are. Circle around us, by the way. And then let's see, right about here. Okay, so this is this weekend. This is Friday afternoon. Inside slider. That's gonna drop three to four inches of snow up around Lake Tahoe. So that'd be cool. And maybe a sprinkle for us, but mainly cooler. So forget the mid 60s like we're gonna see today. In, in the Bay Area, get ready for 50s, cooler, certainly, and maybe some freeze warnings and frost advisories. So it moves into Southern California. That's kind of slick. That's Saturday afternoon, right? So look at that, into SoCal, maybe a, maybe a third of an inch of rain. No, that would be awesome because then you're not dealing with the big mudslide concerns from the fire zones, right? You're not dealing with that. You're dealing with enough rain to really tamp out any hot spots and then we break off and we go all the way into wednesday next week and the ridge is there and then something sort of encouraging happens here but you really at this point when you get out this far long way out 288 hours you're starting to get into kind of you know fantasy land but it's awesome fantasy here comes the rain right here so that would be our next chance and that's a pattern shift see the ridge drops flattens and then there's stuff in behind it that's as far as that model wants to go. Let's see how that looks. I'll back it up. This is how this is accumulated precip, same model, GFS, just showing you rainfall accumulation over that same period. So look at that. That's there's your uh, LA Saturday, Friday after. No, that's actually let's see. That's Sunday, Saturday afternoon. Yeah, Saturday afternoon, Sunday. So you see some rain there, and as we push through time, we're going to see a little something click into the north right here, and that's it. So is that a lot of rain? No. Would that help LA? Yes. Would that drop maybe three, four inches of snow around Lake Tahoe? Perhaps. But that is all ways down the road, right? So we're in this dry pattern. We are, I wouldn't say hurting for rain, but every day that goes by in a rainy month 
February, January, rainy months. That's when we get our rain, most of it, or lots of it. Um, every time, day, every day that goes by, the percent of average starts to deviate and become less attractive to us. Ocean Beach today, eight to ten. Beautiful day. You'll still get your ass handed to you if you try to paddle out. Just know that. And eight to ten means there's some sets that are looming that are bigger than ten foot. And ten foot again. Ocean Beach has got a little thing going where we call it. We'll do. We will more Hawaiian. Like we'll, the Ocean Beach guys will call eight to ten. Maybe what I would call 10 to 12. I don't know. I like fa- I call them faces, truthfully. But I'm, I ha- you have to do both in this world. Steamer Lane, it's a good tide for Steamer Lane. The swell is okay, right? That's fun. And you can see this guy here, this fellow or woman or, you know. No, it's just fun. It's a fun way of Steamer Lane and Lighthouse. And then this is the, where are we? Oh, we're at Sunset Beach, Hawaii, which is small. For the first time in weeks, a couple weeks, it's, um, Sunset Beach is surfable. And a good friend of mine's over there right now um, telling me it's been big, 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 and I'm sure that he's appreciating this break. This is the Golden Gate Bridge right here. That is Mount Tam, my one of my other favorite mountains. And then out here is Point Reyes, right? And the avenue is beautiful. Outer out, outside lands. Outer lands. That's what they used to call when you lived in the city back in the old days, back in the eighteen hundreds. Those, it was all sand dunes. When my grandparents were there, it was all sand dunes. Not the, the park came in pretty early, but they would take their horses and buggies and leave Knob Hill or you know off of, near Market Street, you know the Mission District, and they would ride out to the beach. It was a it was an adventure, and they would take the lunches. You know, it was a real it was a journey back then. It's 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 far enough. I could see where it would be a journey, but it's just interesting because now you just I'm going to the beach, right? So here's Mount Shasta again. We did a lot of, well, we did some weather. We didn't do a lot of weather, but we did some weather. There it is. Um, and so I'm, I'm happy LA's kind of gotten out of the, oh, I hate that it did that. Let me fix that. I, I hate that LA's kind of gotten out, or I'm glad that LA's gotten out of that wind zone. There'll be more, but that rain, if that occurs, that would be great. That'd be towards the weekend. Bay Area, our weather switches a little bit on Friday, Saturday. It'll be cooler, maybe a sprinkle. Snow flurries in the mountains, three to four inches over the weekend. And then as we go into the next week, there looks like there is something out there for the early part of February. That is my hope. Okay, that's a brief one or a short one or a long one. Depends on your perspective. I'll see you back here tomorrow night.